What is the diffusion coefficient given the following, following equation and values? So the diffusion coefficient is equal to the Boltzmann constant times the temperature over 6 pi eta times the radius. And so we need to find the radius, but the density of a sphere is given by this equation. Density equals mass over volume, and the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we can solve for the volume first because we know the mass and the density. But let's convert the mass into grams because the one value, the density is in grams too, so we need to cancel those. So we have m equals 100 kilodaltons. So let's convert from kilodaltons to daltons. So again, kilo is a thousand. So we have this. And then one Dalton is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. And then let's convert from kilograms to grams because again, the, the um, density is in grams. So we have one kilogram is thousand grams and doing the math here we have that this answer is 1.66 actually let me move that so we have 1.66 times 10 to the negative 19 grams So now we can solve for the radius, because we have the uh, volume. So 1.66, this number equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, and then r cubed is equal to 3 point, or 2.94. Times 10 to negative 20th. So cubing both sides, we have that the cubed root of this number equals um, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7th. So now that we have the radius, we can solve for the diffusion coefficient. So D equals the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 16th temperature. We need to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. So let's add 274.15 to 37. Let's put it over here. And this equals 311.15. There's temperature. So let's plug it in. Over 6 pi and eta is the uh, viscosity, and it's 1 in this case times 1, and then the radius we found over here to be 3.1 times 10. And then this equals, this whole thing will equal 7.4, 7 actually 7.0, times 10 to the negative ninth. So next we're asked to, so this is A, circle it. Next we're asked to 
find the average distance traveled in the following times. So that's given by the equation S equals 4 dt. And t is the following times, raised to the 1 half. So this equals, the first one is, let's plug this out first. 7.8 times 10, it's a negative ninth. So the first time is 1 microsecond, and again, micro is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6. So this right here equals 1.7. times 10 to the negative seventh. So that's um, it's B. That's B1. For B2, let's change the time to uh, one millisecond. And again, milli is 1.0 times 10 to the negative third. And this equals Five point four times ten to the negative sixth. And lastly we have one second. So it's um we were already converting to seconds, so we can leave it as is. So it's just four times the diffusion coefficient and the square and the square root of that, so the answer is um, 1.7 times 10 to the negative fourth. And again, these are all in centimeters. So we were given the equation that the diffusion coefficient equals um, those values, and we, in order to find the radius, we had to use the density of a sphere equation because we're given the density of a sphere and in order to find that we needed the equation for volume which gave us the radius and we we're able to find the distance travel given the following times.